I've done better than that. You'd think you'd know his name. Every time you switch on a light or turn on your radio, his contributions are as far-reaching as those of Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, or even his nemesis, Tom Edison. This mysterious, tall, dark Serbian invented alternating current, wireless communication, the modern electric motor, basic laser and radar technology, X-rays, neon, robotics, remote control and cellular technology, and even Star Wars tactical warfare, all over a hundred years ago. Yet today, who's ever heard of Nikola Tesla? How could history overlook such an incredible legacy? During his last moments on Earth, he no doubt asked himself the same question. Lying in a forgotten hotel room, alone and penniless, now 86 years of age, this is where our story begins. On that final night in January 1943, Nikola reflected on his life in near delirium. The flashes of light. I never had control over the flashes. They are so tormenting. Unstoppable images would flood his mind, accompanied by powerful flashes, like countless times before, due to a strange lifelong condition of his. When the word was spoken to me, the image of the object would appear vividly. And sometimes I was unable to distinguish whether what I saw was tangible or not. This caused me great discomfort and anxiety. In the murky light of the hotel room, he'd speak with ghosts from his past. Phantoms waiting for him to succumb. He remembered triumphant moments when he was struck with the vision of his world-transforming electric motor, the same design that's used everywhere today. Like a flash of lightning, in an instant, the truth was revealed. He was so sure of his breakthrough that he felt compelled to share it. He sailed for New York City, the seat of the modern world. Soon he'd become the quintessential American success story, transforming himself from a penniless immigrant into a legend of his time. The glitterati of New York's finest would flock to his laboratory to witness the spectacular high-voltage demonstrations. Notables such as Mark Twain, John Muir, Sarah Bernhardt, Stanford White, and Teddy Roosevelt, and many others attended. But one person not present was his ruthless competitor, Thomas Edison. Nikola would recall the War of the Currents, AC versus DC power. At the time, the electrification of the world was at stake. Alternating current's too damn dangerous. He's using tens of thousands of volts. DC only uses hundreds. Sure you can see the danger. Tesla, Tesla, Nikola Tesla. A man who could never take a joke. There was only one kind of power system that could feed cities all over the country that would allow Edison's incandescent bulbs to burn brightly. And Nikola had it. Tom Edison fought against it, tooth and nail. Hell, there are no rules here. We're trying to accomplish something. The bitter Edison would even resort to electrocuting stray animals, including a rogue elephant, to incite public fear of Tesla's AC system. But Tesla would ultimately triumph over Edison by electrifying the Chicago World's Fair in 1893. It was a smashing success. Then, he and partner George Westinghouse created the world's first hydroelectric system at Niagara Falls. It was an incredible gamble at the time, and no one was sure it would work, except Tesla, the man of the hour. Nikola was now at the peak of his glory. He took to wearing formal clothes and wearing white gloves when starting experiments. He was a mystic who wrote and recited poetry and could speak six languages, yet he couldn't help his idiosyncrasies. People had no idea that he battled hallucinogenic episodes daily. I have seen all the air around me filled with tongues of living flame. 
Their intensity, instead of diminishing, increased with time. He was also described as a maniac for cleanliness and would avoid handshakes and fought an array of deep-seated phobias and compulsions. All the repeated acts or operations I performed had to be divisible by three. And if I missed, I felt impelled to do it all over again, even if it took hours. He learned to control his runaway mind with supreme discipline. Tesla's unquenchable fire drove him onward. Nikola would soon engage the biggest fish in the pond while undertaking his greatest venture, Wardenclyffe. This fantastic structure was the very culmination of Tesla's vision to create a worldwide communication system for sending sound and pictures. The primary goal was to beat Marconi for the honor of delivering the world's first transatlantic wireless signal. By no accident, Tesla's grand project was to be financed by the devil himself, J.P. Morgan. You're a strange man indeed, Tesla. After the papers are signed, you may draw upon the house of Morgan, but it's important that I remain a silent partner. You do understand what that means, don't you, Mr. Tesla? But Nikola had a secret. The system could also electrify the world. Wardenclyffe would provide limitless, free energy everywhere for everybody. When J.P. Morgan found out about this leap of technology, he wouldn't tolerate it. He knew Tesla could deliver, and the banker overlord couldn't put a meter on it. A man always has two reasons for doing anything. A good reason, and the real reason. Mid-construction, Morgan would cancel the contract and blackball Tesla, thus excluding him from any other investor. Mr. Morgan, are you going to leave me in a hole? I've made a thousand powerful enemies on your account. In a hundred years from now, this country would give me much for the first honor of transmitting power without wires. Wardenclyffe faltered, and Marconi sent his transatlantic signal. Tesla would suffer his second nervous breakdown, and never again would he regain his momentum as before. But despite his cruel fate, Nikola stayed the course. Decade after decade would pass, and he would bring forth new fantastic inventions in transportation, air flight, and even warfare. His death beam, as he intended, would bring an end to all warfare. An inventor to the end, all he ever wanted was to uplift the condition of humanity. But now in his hotel room, time was drawing short. He'd finger newspaper clippings and recall some of the smaller moments of his life. His table for one, walking the streets of New York, haunting Grand Central Station, or feeding his many pigeons. No one could begin to imagine what great secrets this mad scientist kept locked inside his head. No one, except J. Edgar Hoover and his G-men. They waited patiently for the great man to pass, and were ready to take everything that Nikola left behind. This story is about a man whose powerful ideas live on, as much of his work is still classified and used in the most esoteric projects imaginable today. Nikola Tesla single-handedly changed the world for the benefit of mankind, yet has been rewarded with obscurity. It's time to bring his story out of the shadows and into the light. With his last breath, Nikola gently smiled. Let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future, for which I have really worked, is mine. Would they only have listened? <laughs>